Good day everyone, I hope everybody's okay. It's a nice beautiful day in Jamaica as you can see, sun is shining. I'm taking a little walk in the yard, taking in the sun, you know, I'm always inside. And today I just wanted to share a recipe that I discovered online and we tried it and it was fantastic. It's a homemade chicken burger. We're going to make the patty, we're going to make the bread and everything else in between. So let's start the process now. So here we are with most of the ingredients to start making this fantastic chicken burger. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So let me go over the ingredients a little bit. We have some cilantro, we have some caramelized onions and garlic here. Now the reason you caramelize it, I think you guys know what I mean, right? It's that it's very acidic and it really affects the meat, so you have to kind of cook it. And it gives it more flavor also. We have some, I didn't have any Maggi cubes, you know the soup Maggi cubes, so, but I had some vegetarian pack for the soup, but that has some nice spices, so I have some here. We have some chili pepper, we have salt, and of course this is a very important ingredient. We have cut up bread here. The reason this is important is that, you know, you don't want it to be all meat, it might tend to fall apart. This will help hold it together, and also it soaks up all of the juices from the meat and whatnot. And in the end, you can't tell what is bread and what is meat. So it gives more body to the patty that we're going to put. All right, so let's add some bread. I'm not sure I'm going to need all. This is, I think I cut up too much. Bread, and that's enough for now. Salt, cilantro, caramelized, caramelized onions. Whatever, you guys, again, I don't know what happened to me today. The pepper, and that Maggi spice. And here we go. Let's take a look. And um, you see, at this point, you guys could add any spices you want. You know, from Trinidad, we like things to be a little extra spicy. So I'm going to be adding more zing, black pepper. Here we have some kind of all spice seasoning. I'm going to add some of it. And at this point, you could even take a little taste. We haven't added any meat yet. Tastes pretty good. Nice and zesty. Excellent. So we have the minced chicken that I bought from the supermarket and then we have our bread mixed here with all these seasoning and spices and we need to combine them. So all we do is put it in and you goo it up and you combine both of them as best as you can. Kind of take me back to my childhood playing with um, Play-Doh. So it's kind of fun. And already this is combined. Now there are some stuff, you know, we want to make sure that it binds really well. So we'll put one or two other things. You just put a little squirt of oil. Olive oil is best. And egg. So crack. Ugh, there, yeah. This is not that much fun anymore. But necessary. We pay the price for food. That's good enough for now. Let me wash my hands. So all I'm going to do now is cover it and put it in the fridge. All right, as you saw, we made the mix here for the patty and at this point, it's in the fridge marinating. The longer you leave it to marinate, the more that flavor soaks into the meat. So it's going to marinate here for about two, three hours because it's early in the morning and we'll start to make it around lunch. For me, a nice burger has a nice cold slaw, which means I now have to make some homemade cold slaw. So that's what I'm going to do. Mayonnaise is what the first thing we'll start with. Some mustard, believe it or not, not much. And we have to mix this up, but then to break it down a little bit, just a touch of vinegar, just a touch. And then we just take a spoon or a fork and we mix. And that's it. And all you have to do now is put in your shredded cabbage and carrots, mix it all up. And it might taste tangy by itself, but believe me, when you put it in the bread with the other vegetables and of course the chicken patty, it tastes really, really good. It blends in really well with the flavor. Homemade coleslaw. And here we have the fantastic bread made by Yovana homemade bread. And the good thing about this homemade bread, as you know, homemade bread tends to be a bit firmer. Now it's light, but it's a little more firm. So it stands up to all the stuff I'm gonna put in this burger. I'm just going to put this in the pan here. You know, all the juices from all the saute is still there and I'm going to let this toast a little bit. Now we have the meat and I'm going to take that and make the patty and put it up. Just before I make the patty, add a little 
You have to add a little oil, put some ingredients in your hand. Yeah, mix there and you shape it out how you want. Now I like my burgers to be thick and with all the ingredients it really stands up well as you can see it, it's staying together by itself I don't have to put much effort into keeping it together oh yeah here we go here we go that's it yeah man that is what we talking about okay nice and sizable all right so you have to load the heat down on the stove so that it doesn't just scorch and not cook the inside so it has to cook slowly nice I'm going to turn it over and as you see it's staying together and although it looks like this, that's fine. All right, that adds to the smoky flavor. So it's cooking really nice there. And it should cook all through, but I'm a bit paranoid. So what I do is when it finished cooks like this, I actually put it in the microwave for about two minutes just to make sure it's cooked through and through. You know, I, I don't want to take any chance with raw meat. But I like to put cheese on the actual burger itself while it's grilling, get a nice, a nice melt. A nice melt on that cheese. Not too much, just perfect. Time to assemble. Here we go. We have all our ingredients here. We have the bread, we have our veggies, some cheese, although I put the cheese already, coleslaw, sauteed onions, some ranch. So let's start. The first thing is the ranch. Oops, oh damn it. Put some ranch, oh, what a mess. All right, spread the ranch properly. Then I like to put cucumbers. Adds a nice little crunch to it. I already have sauté onions, but I love onions. So I'm gonna put some raw onions underneath here. And the reason I'm doing this underneath is that I don't want it to fall apart because this burger is end up going to end up being big. And we have the star of the show, the burger patty, with the cheese. Oh yeah, how oh, that looks so far. Excellent, right? What's next? Oh, I forgot tomatoes. Hold on, tomatoes. And put that on. Coleslaw. Oh, I like a lot of coleslaw. See it there? Just a little more, could always have more, right? And then of course, lettuce. We're trying to pretend that this is a healthy burger. Okay, let's pretend. And that's it, cover. Oh. Okay, so you just saw me assemble the burger, but that was a view from the top. Let's take a look at it from the side. I have to kind of hold it, because as you can see, it's a beast of a burger. Now look at the size of this thing next to my head. How will I eat this? Let's find out. All right, give me a second. It's it's a lot. So I have it here and I just try my best to squeeze it in and then take a bite. Two minutes. No, that is one good burger. Feedback any burger I bought in any restaurant so far with chicken burger. This is really good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this little video of me making this crazy burger. But of course, it's something we don't make every day. What makes it even better is that homemade bread, I guarantee you. So, if you guys want to try it, try it. As I said, this is not a cooking channel. I'm just more sharing something that I discovered with you guys. Okay? As always, give me the support now. You know, like up the video, share, subscribe and all them kind of things. Okay? And until next time, I want to eat the rest of the burger. So, I will see you guys next time. Alright?